Welcome back to the music that makes me want to kill myself. Let's try this lever again. Lever. I'm, I apologize, I always pronounce that wrong. Lever. Ouch! Oh no! Me gold! Me gold! There! Now I can reach the top half. Ha! Jerry's lethal trap is sprung, and he steals the poor leprechaun's much more elegant top hat. Pretty sure there'll be more to it than just that, so... I just want to get out of here. Dirty thief! Well, who cares? Yeah, right? Hold on. I'm done with this for now. Okay, I thought I was gonna drop one on his head, but fair enough. Me poor, me poor gold! Me gold! My... Surprised to see this was animation on him. Wow. A lot of new animation here. Nothing but rotless plastic chips. Curses. By all the snatty snap noses of all the peat bug banshees. If it isn't, young jury, the plumber. Looks like you're rid of me delusion, boy. Thank you ever so kindly. I surely owe you. Should I turn someone into a sheep to stop this madness? Yes. No, Do it. no, no! You must help me remove the nail. All right, boy. And O'Donnell doesn't like to be beholden to anyone. This wish is on the house. Oh, come on. I wish for the great Zaroff to go screw himself. Hail and rain and wafts of mist. Thanks, Mr. O'Donnell. The curse I was under is broken. I'm going home. And O'Donnell is born for freedom. You remember that, you ugly conniving whisperer. <laughs> Oh, you. You don't really waste the wishes, though, Jerry. God damn it. Oh, well. I wonder if I can take a gold piece. Cheap plastic. Eh. You know, when I was young, I played with Legos, and they were plastic gold coins and that, and I thought they looked freaking awesome. That sounds pathetic falling. It's not even metal. Lame crops. Now, I'm sure we're going to use the bell here. The land of volcanoes, sharp swords, and man eating fox spirits. What a beautiful place to fail in, Jerry thought. Just give up, Bonehead. Hey. I'm yeah. a fox, I swear. Kitsuna. You are trapped in a human's body. No mask can hide that, Kitsune. But... Humans and foxes can never be friends. But if a human accepts a fox for who she is, doesn't that count? Even if that were the case, why aren't you changing back? I, I, I tried to change back. It, it just won't work. You may wish to be a fox again, but your heart is lost. I shall protect your ears from the confusion wrought by humans. Please help me. I shall heal you from being human, or devour you as a human. <laughs> this guy got problems. Kitsuna. Let's check out the script. Great, a new script. The Curse of Zaroff, Act 3. Little Jerry won't give up. He kept bothering the foxes incessantly. Until they grew tired of the immature smart Alec and devoured him, bones and all. Ouch! <laughs> Oh, maybe this bell, I guess, is more so than that little tiny bell. I don't know. But definitely connected to this somehow. Bells, bells, bells. I knew there'd be bells. Another one of those nails. A completely insignificant object. Oh, stop it already. My mom always says, fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> the Guardian's in the way. <sighs> if you touch that nail... I will bite off your head. I had better keep my distance. I don't really believe that he can move. Just saying, but whatevs. Where did that come from? 
That looks strange. Bronze, that sounded wooden to me. Okay, let's see, what else can we click on? Kitsuna! Uh, she can't hear me. <sighs> Human and fox cannot be friends. We have nothing in common. There cannot be anything. And even if there were, we would break their hearts. Biting their flesh or biting their soul. That is the only bond permitted between us. What? Okay, whatever. More posters. I'll rip them down. <sighs> I smell a human. <laughs> I may growl. be blind, but my nose never deceives me. We foxes are dangerous animals. Yeah. No, Kitsuna sounds downright threatening. So? <laughs> Screw it, do it anyway. There's something up there, but I guess I'm not supposed to click on that. It's just a technicality. Alright. Yes. But how? <laughs> Hit it with the bronze nail or something. I used the nail last time. Just a guess. Better not. Oh, come on. How about the iron nail? Better not. Aw. Seems like a good idea to me. Guy. Anything else? Like any rips or tears or something? Well, <clears throat> let me try this bell. Tuna! Foolish boy, I can smell your intention. But she cannot hear you. She is mine. <laughs> okay, so that's the right way. She is his! <laughs> A way to make the bell louder. Hmm. I wonder... Let's see what happens when I hold this thing against the bell. <laughs> My ears! Nice. Okay, cool. Now I can do the bell thing. Oh, 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 quickly, quickly. There we go. I hope she'll remember her bell. <laughs> Kitsuna? J Jerry? Are you trying to rob me of my remaining senses? Human! I shall have all humans suffer for this, including your little Kitsune. I'm a fox, I swear. You may wish to be a fox again, but your heart is lost. I shall protect your ears from the confusion wrought by humans. Jerry! Quick, Kitsuna, run away! You belong to us! <laughs> okay. I will always be a fox, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> and Jerry's sound carrier shattered in his backpack. Oh, great. The sound carrier broke. Lame. <laughs> oh, I got something from it. It's broken. Well, I'm sure that's going to be useful somehow. I don't have anything to put it back together again with, but... At least I don't think so. I'd better be careful with the shards. Okay. Just... I'd better be careful... Just trying different things, that's all. Louder! Do I still need that, though? Hmm. I'll sneak up on her this time. Watch out! Jerry's about to mug you! Desist, human! Or I shall bite off your head! Tattletail! <laughs> okay, well... Let's see... Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't think I need an illusion here. Pfft, you, says you. I don't... Alright, if you insist, though. I'm uh, just trying different things. Nothing. Too bad. 
Aww. Hmm. <clears throat> well, probably not. Can't click on him anyway, so never mind. Uh. Hmm. Bell, I need to be louder. I got a broken sound carrier. What do? I'd better be careful with the shards. I'd better be. Uh. I'd better be. No, I think I tried that before anyway. Hmm. 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 Not sure. I am not sure right now. I have to ponder this. I'll be back when I have time to ponder this. Because I don't want to just go, hmm, and ha, huh, on screen. But I really have no idea, so... <laughs> give me some time. I'm sure I'll come up with something. Kitsuna, don't listen to him. He's not himself. He will keep you forever. Jerry, why don't you just leave? I will always remain a fox. I know, and that's a good thing. You are you. You are a fox. I am. I am a fox. <sighs> Foxes fight. Oh, I just had to talk to her. What? <sighs> I thought he was going to block her ears. Okay. Young Kitsune, I am but a blind guardian, but my mind once again sees clearly. I owe you my thanks, human. Yeah, suck it, whatever. <laughs> Be a friend to her. Okay. Well, three down, one more to go. Friendship removes the nail? Who's supposed to believe that? You said that last time, didn't you? Yeah, I may have missed a couple lines there, because I... Was skipping past things, but I think you'll get here the gist of it, hopefully. Can't be too bad. It's Christmas. Christmas lights. Pretty. Where am I now? Ice everywhere. And water, as far as I can see. The wind is very cold. The boy was so overjoyed at getting to spend another vacation in one of the most beautiful places on Earth. V vacation? That, cheering loudly, he tore off his clothes and jumped into the ice-cold water. Jerry on the rocks! <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to think you don't care about me at all. Mr. Hazelnut, I resent your attitude. The only thing I care about is art. But you just won't follow the script. Yes, please f f forgive me. I will oh, try harder. I certainly hope so, you useless amateur. Now, farewell. The mighty polar whale Stop. broke through the ice oh, behind man. Jeremy. And with his mighty voice, he proclaimed, You have made a brave effort. You even advanced to the edge of the eternal ice. But you cannot withstand the cold. It is time to give up. To let go. Join me. As I slide into the dark, cold waters under the ice. <laughs> Man, that's kind of dark. <laughs> Let's check out the script. Great, another script. The magnum opus of the fantastic magnum Zaroff. Opus? A first-class literary stroke of genius, you ignoramus. The title is The Curse of Zaroff, fourth and final act. A masterpiece of simplicity! Jerry was at the North Pole. It was cold. He was freezing. Just like really being there. It's so authentic. Jerry was snowed in and frozen. Everyone was happy about that. The polar whale sang with joy. <laughs> what a beautiful ending. So tragic. Your face is tragic. 
Thaw. Okay, let's see what we got here. Candy cane? Hmm. Gigantic candy cane. Jerry Yum. couldn't resist. He had to lick it just once. Lick it. You just want my tongue to freeze, do you think? Exactly. <laughs> Finally, you've read the script. Go right ahead, then. <laughs> no. I'm going to save the cane for later. I wish I had a cane that big. That'd be delicious. I love candy canes. Oh, the boy is just too smart for you. <laughs> Quiet! Starting to turn on him, aren't they? Next time on Night of the Rabbit, we figure out how to deal with the North Pole. See you then.